What's up, Scouters? So the Korean entertainment industry is once again facing a huge scandal. Now, many of you who watch a lot of Korean movies or dramas may be more familiar with the guys who are involved, but they're two of Korea's most well-known and top-class actors named Ju Jin-mo and Jang dong gun And for the past few days, the press has just gone absolutely nuts reporting about these guys' scandals. While the opinions of the public is very well split, some people have gone as far as to claim that this is as bad as JJY's group chat situation. So in this video, let's find out what exactly happened to these two men. The entire scandal started on a website called DC Inside, which can easily be referred to as Korea's Reddit, when an anonymous user posted a leaked conversation between Jang dong gun and Ju Jin Mo from 2014. And as I've mentioned already, some people are treating this as the second JJY group chat scandal, and the press has just gone absolutely nuts about it for a while. So after seeing all this fuss on the internet, I did something any respectful internet user would do. I looked up the conversation and I read through all of it. But to my surprise, the conversation was mainly about these two men talking about the parties they're about to go to, or sharing pictures of girls that want to hang out with them, and arranging dates to meet up and hang out with these girls. There were no illegally filmed videos or pictures, the pictures themselves weren't too explicit, and the pictures were shared by the girls themselves. And I mean, these girls weren't hanging out with these guys by force. So the situation is a little bit different than the JJY group chat scandal. I mean, as far as I can see, there's nothing wrong with the conversation these two men had. And I mean that in legal terms. They did nothing illegal. It just looks like an immature conversation between two immature men. And that shouldn't surprise any of you. On top of that, because this conversation was back in 2014, Ju Jin Mo was single at the time. So him hanging out with all these girls and living that Hugh Hefner life isn't something that should concern others. But at the time, Jang dong gun was married. So once again, this isn't anything punishable by law or anything, but it does seem a little bit unethical of him to be talking like this and hanging out with these random girls. So how did this happen? After the incident happened, Dispatch reported that this may be due to hackers hacking the actor's phone via Samsung Cloud. They have also reported that there were many other famous figures who have received a blackmail from the supposed hacker, which includes a top class celebrity, a K-pop idol, a famous chef, a famous director, and of course, Ju Jin Mo himself. Dispatch has also reported that a famous idol member has already paid the hacker to make sure a leaked video doesn't get publicized. And supposedly, this anonymous hacker has asked celebrities anywhere from $50,000 to a million dollars depending on the severity of the leaked content. And as a sudden response to this article, Samsung has responded that Samsung Cloud has not been hacked, but that the hacker got a hold of the victim's IDs and passwords. To this entire scandal, Ju Jin Mo's entertainment label, Huai Brothers Entertainment, announced that they will be taking legal actions against anyone distributing the fake conversation. And yes, if you take a look at the leaked conversations, it's just a few screenshots of random conversations two people had. I mean, anyone with an IQ of over 50 that has a smartphone and a friend can duplicate the same messages. So as of now, it is unclear whether this entire conversation is even true or not. We'll just all have to wait and see how the situation plays out. But again, even if the leaked conversation is true, I don't think this is as big of a deal as JJY's group chat situation. Again, I emphasize that there were no illegal contents shared in this conversation. More so, the honest feeling I got to after reading through the entire conversation was that it looks like a conversation between two old men trying to look young and hip by using all these squiggly lines and LOLs. And seeing as how these two men are approaching their 50s soon, this statement might have angered them the most, but... Anyways, if you found this interesting or I answered some of your questions, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Until then guys, see you next time.